Hi everyone! I made a video picking my favorite character from every single Nancy Drew game. Uh, this video is going to be the opposite. I get to pick my least favorite character from every single game. Starting with... Uh, let's start with Midnight in Salem. Oh man, we've got a big cast of losers here. Uh, Tegan! Tegan is my least favorite. Oh, she makes me so angry. It, like, she has this big confession partway through the game. It's completely out of place. And it's, it's one of those things where it's like the entire mystery could have been avoided if Tegan had just been a good person who told the truth from the beginning instead of doing like three different terrible things. Uh, I, yeah, I don't want to go into spoilers, but yeah, wow, she, she is bad. Okay, next, um, Sea of uh, Darkness is my least favorite character. Uh, actually, I think Elizabeth. I think Elizabeth is the least interesting of the characters. Like, her biggest contribution to the plot is um, singing in the song, The Word I Didn't Keep, which is an amazing song, yes, but I didn't really see her as, like, yeah, yeah, she seemed to be the least important character, and she's kind of doing a British accent because I don't think they had enough voice actors who could actually do Icelandic accents, so no, nobody comments on the fact that her accent does not fit at all. Alrighty. Let's, let's go backwards. I'm doing this one backwards. We're going from uh, game 33 to game 1. So, my least favorite character, Melina is kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, she is kind of annoying. Is there somebody else I dislike more? No, Niobe. Niobe super double annoys me. Okay, yeah, that's it. Niobe, definitely. Uh, it is cool that she appears in two different places, but she, she, yeah, oh gosh, she's always whining about art, and I don't want to do this, and, and it's like, oh, and then she, she, she does the thing where she talks in really long, weird metaphors, like, Nancy's like, Naomi, what's wrong, and she says, I told you not to eat the seeds, which, which is a reference to the play that they're acting in, and it's like, gosh, just tell Nancy what's wrong, a again, like Tegan, if Naomi had told the truth from the very beginning, the entire game could have been avoided. Oh, Sunny June. Oh, man. I, I kind of like Sunny. Uh, he looks way cooler in the box art, though. Actually, I'm going to go... Oh, man. It's either got to be Lena or Kiri. I think Lena... I hate what they do with Kiri at the end of the game. But Lena actually shows up more during the uh, course of the overall game, so that gives her more opportunities to annoy me. She per she purposely manipulates me, and, you know, she steals a medallion, and Nancy's like, whoa, 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 the rules say you can't remove a medallion. And Lena goes, oh, yeah, remove? I moved it only once! <laughs> and uh, that's her excuse for cheating. And it it's just terrible. Don't like her at all. Yeah. Alrighty, moving on to the silent spy. Ugh. Nancy's father and Ned. People don't like Ned and Nancy's father in this game. They, they were trying to be super dramatic, and I think it worked, but uh, I've seen so many complaints about them. By the way, it's truly game. People don't like them. Moira! Moira! Okay, another character in the should have told the truth in the very beginning. <laughs> I guess that's my least favorite character type. It's the person who, who keeps a big secret. Because otherwise, if they told the truth, there wouldn't be a game. But, yeah, I, I really wish she had more explanation for why she disappeared. And she's introduced in a way that annoys me. Where she's like, oh, Nancy, I'm going to give you a list of items I need you to buy. She gives you her big shopping list because she wants food. And then when Nancy comes back, she's like, oh, wait, you're Nancy Drew? Oh, if I would known it was you, I, I would never have forced you to do my chores. And that just annoys me. I, I mean, part of that's on Nancy. Nancy should have introduced herself fully uh, when talking to Moira. But still, what, what kind of jerk just forces strangers to uh, basically go out and get their food for them? Okay, uh, Ghost of Thornton Hall. Addison was kind of annoying. She was like, oh, wait, just a minute. No, wait, yeah. It, she does that line, she repeats that like three or four times over the, the singular conversation you have with her. It's just kind of annoying. Actually, I think we call her twice. But yeah, I mean, she's there to be the scaredy cat, and she 
she does well at that. Ooh, Savannah's also kind of annoying, too. Uh, Colton! Colton! Yeah, I think Colton's the worst of the characters in this game. Don't like Colton. He basically disappears for half the game with, without much explanation. And it turns out that he's cheating on his fiance. Yeah, yeah, bad guy Colton. Bad guy Colton, definitely. Okay, uh, the deadly device. Hmm. I kinda dislike Ryan because she tries too hard to be the funny one, but at least she's nice. Uh, I think Ellie is probably my least favorite of the characters because she's the one who has the least amount of impact on the plot. Uh, I'd say about two-thirds of the game, there's one piece of evidence that makes it look like Mason and Ellie are working together, and there's really no major follow-up to that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, I, I feel like she could have been an interesting suspect, but mostly she's just kind of sleepy and hates her job, and her happy ending is she doesn't work here anymore. Alright, ooh, Terminal Lost Queen. Yeah, it's gotta be Jamila. She's a character who just talks nonsense the entire time. Uh, she's doing it on purpose, that still makes it extremely annoying. It's hard to understand what she's even trying to say most of the time. And she does have an element of, if she had told the truth from the very beginning, well, nobody would have believed her. But if she had told the truth from the very beginning, things would have uh, ended up much, much differently. Alright, Lily's also kind of annoying too. Ooh, yeah. Nah, I think I dislike Jamila more than I dislike Lily. Lily's just annoying. I, I, Lily's lazy, but Jamila's actively annoying and, and bothers me. Okay, uh, Alibi in Ashes. Hmm. Oh. Yep! Tony Carlton, that's it. Yeah. She is just... She's supposed to be terrible on purpose. You're supposed to dislike her. And boy, does that work. I really hate the thing at the end of the game where she's like, Oh, I'm sorry. Did, did you want me to help you? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let you go to jail. Okay, bye bye Ugh, so mean. It's weird to say, because the other mean characters I kind of like. Deirdre's mean, and so is Brenda, and I find them both more interesting uh, than Tony. Alrighty, uh, Renata is probably my least favorite character. Yeah, my least favorite character of the Captive Curse is Renata. She, again, just has really long tangential stories. She doesn't really have much of an effect on the plot. She doesn't really go anywhere. Like, she does leave once in order to mess with the cuckoo clocks, and that's never explained how she knows the culprit keeps a dial inside the cuckoo clock. The, the game just totally blows off that explanation. She does kind of have an interesting story about her sister at the end, and, and that's good, but other than that, her main role in this game is falling asleep. Yeah, this game is just kind of full of unlikely suspects, because I, I don't expect Renata or Lucas to be the culprit just based on their age and height. And, uh, yeah, I guess that just leaves these two as the, uh, possible culprits. Okay, shout out the Water's Edge. Man, I don't want to be mean and say I hate both of the grannies, but Takai is probably the worst character of the game. Uh, she, she does a lot of talking. The same complaints I've had. Talks an awful lot. Has a big secret that if she had told it at the very beginning, it would have saved everything and stopped the entire game from happening. And also goes on weird long conversations. There's especially one about, uh, like this little bird that she found as a little girl, and that's an extended metaphor for why she thinks, uh, her dead daughter's ghost is haunting the Ryokan. And that was, that was a bit odd. Alrighty. So, Trail of the Twister. Mmm. Oh, Debbie. Yeah, I don't like Debbie. I think I complained about this in my video of the characters I like the most. I really don't like Debbie. She's got no personality. She's bland and utterly forgettable. She's making evil plots. Yeah, at the very start of the game... Okay, maybe not the start of the game. Let's say 20 minutes into the game, we learn that she's making this evil plot to defeat Scott. And... This doesn't get picked up again until, like, the very end of the game, where, like, there's a tornado on the way, and people are gonna die, and that's when Debbie decides, hey, I'm going to give this 12-minute speech about, uh, yeah, ugh, I, I just don't like it, yeah. 
Also, she's really mean when 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 you talk to her about uh, Frosty Frosty selling pictures on the fly. She's like, yeah, I don't think you need to worry about that. Yeah. Okay, when is it Waverly Academy? Um, least favorite character. I mean, Izzy is the one I dislike the most, but she's the most interesting of the characters. I think I'll go with Leela. I think she's the least interesting of the characters of the game. Like, she, she's a soccer person. She's kind of got a broken wrist. That doesn't really come into play. She's basically there to give you puzzles, really. She, she makes you play darts games and uh, hockey. Other than that, she doesn't really affect the story. Okay, Ransom of the Seven Ships. Uh, gosh, it's gonna have to be Johnny Roll. There aren't really any other characters to dislike in this game, and he is the reason this game has been discontinued, so I can hate him for that, too. The, the only other options are a parrot and Nancy's two best friends. Uh, I mean, I like the parrots, so sorry, Johnny. You're the worst character of the game. Okay, I liked Matt. Uh, probably Kit. Yeah, let's go with Kit. Kit is probably my least favorite character of the game. Yeah, he's... He is keeping secrets, but not, like, secrets that would destroy the entire game, uh, if he told them from the beginning. So, points for him for keeping minor secrets, but, uh, you know, this is similar to, uh, Sea of Darkness, where it felt like they couldn't get somebody who could do an Irish accent, and so, like, okay, this character is American now. Because cause we could only get one Irish accent, so, uh, th this guy's American, and then, uh... The other characters are all British. Uh, well, there's only two of the characters, Kyler and, and Matt. Still, still it's weird that we've got this game that takes place in Ireland and we've only got one guy who can do an Irish accent. That was odd. That was odd. Okay, Phantom of Venice. Uh, you know, in contrast, lots of people in Phantom of Venice have Italian accents. Uh, I guess they had an easier time finding Italian accents than Irish accents. Definitely Margarita Foberg. She is just this really nasty character. I mean, she's set up for a character like you kind of hate her. She's very self-centered and mean. She's only keeping Nancy there because she has to. She refuses to lend you any money. She blames you when the phantom attacks. Uh, yeah, all sorts of awful. And she almost gives away Nancy's cover, so that, that that's bad too. You know, when she's gossiping to the others about Nancy using binoculars. Alrighty, um, probably either these two. I mean, Renee looks so happy and nice in that picture that I'm gonna have to go with Dr. Buford as my uh, least favorite character because I don't like the way he flirts with Bess. I feel like if he didn't flirt with Bess, I'd be okay with him as a character. But that's how he's sort of introduced as this old guy who's saying flirty things to a teenager, and I, I don't like that. Guadalupe, hmm. I want to say Chantal. Chantal is probably my least favorite character of White Wolf of Icicle Creek. But Guadalupe, definitely, in terms of the story, she has very little effect on the story. You can play through the entire game and have no idea who she is. You can get through the game without ever talking to her. And her story isn't that interesting either. She's part of this. Yeah, I don't know. That's a problem with the game in general, is that uh, half the characters uh, disappear. Lou disappears partway through the game as well. So, it, she's not a very effective suspect. It's, it's just hard to get her to actually appear. She, she doesn't always show up at the window when she's supposed to, and so it's very easy to miss out on her. As opposed to Bill, who's always there, like, 24 hours a day. He's just hanging out by the fox and geese table. Alrighty, let's see. Creature Kapu Cave. Probably Pua. I think she was kind of unnecessary. Part of the problem with the game is that the Hardys have a story and Nancy has a story and those two don't really interact very well. The two stories don't overlap very well. So with, with Pua and her, her dad, Big Island Mike, they're just too similar. I don't think that works in terms of the story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. The Hardy Boys. Yeah, Joe Hardy was pretty useless in that game. I, You know, I don't like his old bald man look. Um, gosh. 
Let's see. Yeah, I still think I'm gonna go with Pua, though, as my least favorite character of the game. Oh, JJ Lang is my least favorite character of this game. She's the one who forces you to do all your chores all the time and lies to you about her cookies so she can force you to do her cookies. And all she really does is play that silly hangman game. Terrible roommate, terrible, terrible roommate. All right. Of course, Minette's also a pretty terrible character as well. Yeah, and I don't like how Dieter makes me do that fashion photography challenge, and, and he refuses to translate a list of things for you. We, we've got a lot of stinkers here, but JJ is the one that makes me the angriest, because she is the one who lies to you about it. Whereas at least Dieter and uh, Minette are honest, and they, they are not lying to your face. Alright, Fatima, no, she's nice, Tino's nice, mm, gosh, least favorite, wow, kinda got a tie with these three, huh? Lori, John, Archer, Lena, I think I'll go with John Gray, he, he's, in terms of, like, most important character of the story, I think he's the least important, like, he, he's basically there to give you a roll of duct tape, right? I don't think the game really follows through with, uh, his ghost storyline. Yeah. Richard Topham, right? Richard Topham is just plain annoying, and all of his puzzles seem to be long and bothersome, especially the card one that he makes you do. He's so stuck up and self-centered. Clearly the worst character of the game. Uh, let's see. Gosh. Probably, probably Linda or... I, I mean, Nigel's annoying, but he's not, like, bad. Yeah, and I don't want to be mean to Jane. She's just a lonely child, after all. So, I'd say Linda is probably my least favorite character of the game, because she's just so mean to you, and her conversations disappear <laughs> after, like, the first 15 minutes. You run out of conversations, and there's nothing you can talk to her about. Hmm, Shadow Ranch. Mary Yazi is probably the odd character out because she... You know, when I go through the characters like this, you can tell that they all have the same basic character model. Their shoulders are all basically the exact same spot. Uh, anyway, um... Yeah, because she's not at the ranch and she doesn't show any real interest in uh, Dirk Valentine or that mystery, she doesn't really come across as a suspect. It felt like they added her to the game because they needed a fourth character, not not because she was actually important to the storyline or interesting. I read the book and she like gets mentioned in one sentence in the book. She is not an important character. Uh, similarly, Danger on Deception Island, Jenna does not play much of a role. She's the character who could be removed from the game most easily and not be missed. She does give you a lot, uh, a lot of clam chowder. That's good, but other than that, yeah, she's just not very... Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go with uh, the carousel. <sighs> Gosh, I, I think I'm going to have to say my least favorite character is Ingrid, who is supposed to be funny, but just wasn't funny at all. Uh, yeah, she's treated like a joke character, but her jokes weren't funny. She's more odd than interesting. Yeah. If she had been the culprit, man, imagine if that had been the case. That would have been cool. Although it was amazing. Uh, I mean, I did like seeing, like, we have a female engineer character who is competent. That's cool, but she's also obsessed with astrology, which was not cool. Gosh, uh, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Hmm, I'm gonna say Red Knot, probably because he's the rudest, although they're all kind of bad, like... No, Ranger Acres give you, gives you tickets, and then Emily, um, well, I don't want to give spoilers, but at the end of the game, she's really mean, and, uh, yeah, Red Knot's mean to you the whole way through, though, so he's the one who's the meanest the longest. Oh, man, uh, probably Alejandro, like, yeah, I, I don't really like Alejandro, I feel like, well, he's one of the characters who easily could be removed from the game. Just just cut out his little storyline, because he doesn't really add a whole lot besides being good-looking. Mm, yeah, but then again, half the characters of this game disappear for half the game. So uh, you could say that 
hardly any of them contribute to the story. Uh, but Henrik, Henrik contributes a lot to the story with his amnesia stuff. That's interesting. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Alejandro. My least favorite there. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go with Simone Biles in the final scene because she is the one who's the meanest to Nancy the longest. She's just terrible to Nancy for the entire game, and that's just her character. Alrighty, moving on to hmm, yeah, Treasure and Royal Tower. Got a couple of good options, either Jacques or Lisa, really. Um, Jacques is really nasty to you halfway through the game and just refuses to talk to you. Yeah, Nancy gets attacked at his locker and he blames Nancy and refuses to talk to her again. That's really bad. That's really bad, whereas uh, Lisa more annoys me because of drop storylines, because there's a story that she could speak fluent Spanish, even though she tells you I can't speak any other languages. And that doesn't really go anywhere, yeah. She doesn't have a whole lot to do for a majority of the game. Yeah, but ja yeah, the big scene halfway through is basically the only time Jacques does something which is interesting or important. Uh, yeah, I, he has that hope boxes thing that he's making, which we don't really get a follow-up on. There's a conversation about his boxes, but then we don't hear anything else about them. Okay, message in a haunted mansion getting close to the first uh, three games. Let's see. Um, I don't like Louis. Um, Louis, Louis is so mean. It gets you kicked out because you you read uh, a you read a book, right? And he's like, oh, clearly you were reading the book in my suitcase. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he doesn't really contribute to like helping the house. On the other hand, Rose gives you all those nasty chores, though. Hmm. I'll go with Lewis. I'll, I'll, I'll go with Lewis. He's probably my least favorite of the character. Like, which one would I rather hang out with? Rose, definitely over Lewis. Alrighty, stay tuned for danger. I think Maddie... Maddie isn't a terrible character or anything. She's just kind of bland and not very involved in the mystery. The game kind of tries to make it seem like she's a suspect, but I never believed she was a suspect. Not, not for a moment. And uh, later games won't have characters like her appear on screen. Usually there'll be like a phone contact or something warnings at Waverly Academy where uh, Nancy's contact is the headmistress who never appears. You can't call her, you can't talk to her or anything. Because that, that is Maddie's role. She is only there to introduce the mystery to Nancy. Rick is actually the victim here. Okay, so uh, secrets can kill. Either Hulk or Hal. So I think I'm gonna say Hulk is my least favorite character for the original version of the game, and Hal Tanakh is my least favorite character in the remastered version of the game. Because in the remastered version, Hal's role is uh, significantly reduced. I feel like they get rid of a third to half of his lines, and he doesn't have that many lines to begin with. So he, he feels kind of like an extra in uh, the remastered version. And as for Hulk, he, he's like the one character who doesn't show up at the end of the original game. He's just like, hey Nancy, I'm sorry, I won't help you. And then that's it, we never hear from him again after that. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my video. Um, that's my list of the, the least favorite characters for me. My personal list, you can leave a comment saying who you think the worst characters in the series are. I kind of use that interchangeably, like worst character, least favorite character. I, I kind of switched between the two. Let me just go through the entire list again. Uh, Elizabeth, least favorite character in that game. Then uh, Tegan, oh, oh, Tegan makes me angry. Yeah, um, Niobe. Then, uh, Lena, miss I'm gonna lie and cheat and totally get away with it. Moira, miss I'm gonna keep secrets for no reason. Uh, Colton, I'm going to cheat on my fiance and get a happy ending anyway. Is it Mason or? No, it was Ellie. Yeah, Ellie. Ellie was the least important. Like, the most unlikable character of the game was Mason. He was very unlikable, though. But yeah, El Ellie was definitely the least important. Uh, Jamila, just outright flat. 
flat out annoying. Did not like her. <laughs> uh, same with Tony Scolari. Just did not like her as a person. She she is kind of a villain. Nada. And her grandma buddy Takai. Did like them. And with Debbie here, who is just completely bland, and I don't like her as a result. Uh, Leela was only there to give you sports puzzles. And it's also super annoying when she's like, Nailed it! Nailed it! Uh, yeah! All the time. Just cheering herself on. Ugh. Johnny Roll, don't like him. Uh, Kit, yeah, the odd man out in that game. Margarita Foberg, oh, she is so mean. Would not like to meet her in real life. And uh, Dr. Buford is nicer than Margarita, at least. Guadalupe, probably the worst character of White Wolf Bicycle Creek, least important. Uh, Pua. And then JJ Ling. I picked uh, John Gray. He looks very angry at being picked as uh, my least favorite character of the game. Richard Topham. Uh, I can't think of anybody who actually likes Richard Topham. Uh, Linda. Linda. Mary Yazi. Jenna. Jenna. Definitely Jenna. And Ingrid Corey. Red Knot. Man, this is, this is like a, a quiz game. I have to remember the names of all these characters. Alejandro Del Rio. Simone Biles. Jacques Brunet. Uh, Louis, Louis Chandler. I didn't have his picture. I don't know why. Um, Maddie Jensen. Hulk Sanchez. And Hal Tanaka. Okay, so that's the list. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching my video, everybody. Bye!